Hello, welcome back to Brandish the Dark Revenant. So we are just making good progress through the caves. Dealing with the undead and annoying bats. Oh, I didn't even check this. Is this locked? Yes. Why do I keep doing that? Like every time, why do I keep doing that whenever I want to open up the map? Okay. So that means we do have to go down here. I expect it as much. Avoid the big pit. We don't need what it's selling. Eh! I saw that too late. The pits on this floor are really hard to see. Ow! Nope! Don't! Don't sleep again, you idiot! Watching me sleep? That's that's creepy guy. What you get? Don't watch a man sleep. I was kinda hoping the key would be in that corner, but sure. Wouldn't be that simple, would it? Maybe it's not a key. Maybe it's a, a shortcut back. I would be fine with that. If there was a shop or something, but there's not. I need quick routes back to shops. Oh, I don't think I actually have much to sell. Not really. Still, easy access is always appreciated. You keep on a look out. Keep a look out for glowing walls, because that's apparently the tell on every floor for something you need to break or walk through. Hmm. I think I know what's coming up there. I'm gonna explore over here first. I think that's another teleport maze. Hill key. Why though? Like, just put a switch there. <laughs> hmm. This is also in the, the teleport maze. I guess I should just do the teleport maze. Oh, you tricky bat. Back where I came from? Yes. Okay, this isn't. Since I actually need to map everything to get the obelisk, this is more annoying than it otherwise would be. But to get through this, it's not too bad. You just keep going, you just step back where you uh, came from. Another life ring, wow. I I really need to organize stuff better, I guess. I'm a little confused why it's not marking the teleporters on the uh, receiving end. But then I guess it's not always a teleporter. Well, why, why can he walk over the teleporters? I call hacks. Yeah, as I was saying, it's not always a teleporter on the receiving end. So I guess that that's fine. Actually, a lot closer to the end than I expected to get. 
No, not too bad to map all that. I'm actually going to save. So I have it this part, and that was uh, a little annoying. But he still had hit points left. That didn't that didn't deplete his bar. Whatever. I I'll take it. A dead bat again. I'll take it. A dead bat is a good bat, but what? Surprisingly easy to cross. And it's not locked. Okay. I mean, I guess it's not a big pool of water, but... No, it, it is just very easy to cross. I saw a bat in here somewhere. There he is. Both of them, apparently. Okay, well, this is clearly going to be a dead end, so let's mark this. Jerk. Almost walked right into that. Nothing suspicious there. He thinks he's getting away. And he did because our campfire magic, because there's a delay for some reason whenever I use the analog stick. Wow, just straight up immune to magic. I mean, I mean, it's a magic enemy, so not too surprised. I was just not expecting it to tink off of it. I think I hit that thing from behind. I don't know how you would know. I saw the obelisk over here, so let's mark this. I saw another one of those magic things back here. It's safe to rest. I mean, yeah. Cash money. There's the stairs. Oh. Oh. It's a fake wall, okay. And I can already see his cash money back there. And then I guess we go get the obelisk. Or the monument, whatever. I'm sure I've been saying it wrong practically every video. Ow, that tickled. Is that the exact same shield we already got? Fantastic. Oh, I forgot about the potions. Should be. Hmm. This. Okay, now what's everything?
actually... That's not even a high use ring. I really should have re I really should have stocked up on the hammers. I'll do that next time I run into a shop. So I'm actually going through a fair bit of them with the uh, monuments. Falls on this floor. Oh, safe place to sleep. Actually, it's not because there's bats and they can go over fence. Really? I'm I'm upset. <laughs> I spent a lot of money to buy this armor, thinking it would be like at the end of the cave, and nope, it's just right here. Actually, not using the sword a whole lot, and I actually have to take damage to get in and out of here. That's that's 50 damage. Wow, that is a painful pit. As far as I know, it is not. Um, it does not grow with you. Like if I went back to the first floor, the pits were doing like I don't know, 15 damage. They would still do 15 damage. It's by the floor and not by... It's not like a percentage, is what I'm trying to say. It has nothing to do with your stats. How much a pit will do. They could just have one do 300. And just kill you. It would be a dick move if they could do it. money. I think that was almost as much as the one that we got in the obelisk. I think the obelisk was 3,000. those things respawn. The next time I run into one, I should see how much magic resistance experience I get off of them. Not that I think I need to do another grind here. I'm pretty sure it's going to be the last part of the game where I need to do another grind. Or rather, an enemy that's worth doing a grind on. <sighs> yeah, because the bat is what I needed to freeze. Thanks, game. Bats are jerks. I expected that to open that door, so I didn't even check it. I may legitimately want to go back to the shop and buy hammers. I wanted you to throw magic, but okay. Whatever kills the bat. one of those things I want to see what I get for magic resistance on them. I mean, it goes up.
and so do these stairs, okay? I did not expect to find the stairs so soon. Where you going, Bat? Where you going, Bat? There you go. Shop that's not gonna have hammers. Young man, have you seen the great chasm just west of here? Oh, that sounds so pleasant. Yeah, yeah I hope you weren't thinking of trying to leap over it. It's like I always tell people, the shortest route isn't always the best. Oh, there are times you'll need to hop in a pit or two to get to where you want to be. But I doubt I need to tell you that you look like you've got some finely honed instincts. Just make sure you don't ignore them, and you'll live a nice long life down here. Okay, we do have some junk to sell. Like the stuff I already owned. That, that ring was barely even worth selling. Okay, let's see what you got to sell. I actually legitimately can afford warp magic, wow. No. Why no hammers? I'm upset. Also 90% sure I will just pick up barrier and uh... I don't know what it will be called in this version. The strength magic is called double originally. They sh These two and double should just be around. Also heal magic. Which sounds like it might be useless with potions restoring all your health. But it's a um... A regen. That is a nice chasm. And the obelisk is on the other side. For a second I thought he swung his sword when I told him to throw magic, but he did throw the magic. Good for him. Hmm. Okay, that was poison. Jerk! <laughs> Trying to get a nap in? Okay. So the question is, am I expected to fall into the chasm to find a way around it? I don't think so, because I mapped all of the previous floor. I hear another one of those things. Huh. map I have. I don't think I've missed anything here. Huh. I am not entirely sure. A, s a switch, maybe? What am I thinking? I've already found the stairs to go up. I mean... I mean, it's... That's not where I want to go. It is decent experience, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. I'm also not going to do another grind like that on screen. Okay. So then that must mean that I have to fall down on the other side of that chasm. That is once again not the button to open the map. Okay. I 
I seriously think I need to go and get more hammers. That is a lot of gold bars. And that is a beefy falchion. It is going in the box. Hmm. This crevice has concerned me a little. I'm going to save. I am fairly certain I'm coming up on another boulder. Jump, jump. Eh, I'm coming up on another boulder. Yes. Ow! Ow! Yep. I think if I would have just kept jumping, I would have been fine. Yeah, I, I honestly don't really need to map that. But I have another idea. Whew. Yeah, I think I would have been fine if I just kept jumping. But I don't think I would have actually lined up properly. Okay. I think... I think it's been a long time since I brought that up. You always want to check where a boulder stops, because there can be items underneath them. Okay. But that went decent, so let's save again. Oh. Okay. Ow! I did not intend to jump there, but that really hurt. I think these are immune to magic as well. I sure hope not, because I did not do a lot to it. I wanted you to throw magic, and you swiped at it, and got yourself killed. Thanks, thanks for that. Can I freeze it? I cannot sidestep while I'm... So I can't prepare magic and then move around. Stop swinging your sword, you idiot. You deserve that. Wow. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to trigger the other one. I'm going to kill them. They might kill me. Well, ice is nothing. Also, I don't need to close the door. They're not going to... I actually don't even really need to move because they only go straight for me. Let's see. They are immune to magic. Okay, so I'm not going to kill them, apparently. I know I have before in this Super Nintendo version. Maybe it's... Okay! Wow. Wow. Mm. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess I never did get off ice on one. Are you going to... Yeah, they're immune. I'm assuming I have to kill them. Okay. I do not. See you, nerds. Oh, God. I have to go back in there and finish mapping that stupid room. 
I think they might be weak to lightning, which I did not get. Just walk into it. Yep. Oh, that would have been nice if that was actually something. Ow! Okay. And there we go. See ya, nerds! Okay. That room was dumb. Thankfully, I did not have to actually fight them. I remember fighting them, though. I don't know. I have no idea how I did that before. It could also be an enemy in the second game I'm remembering fighting. Okay then. Does that help me? Oh, this is the nymph I was thinking of. Okay, so I... I think some floors are different or missing in the Super Nintendo version, and I think the first floor that she appears in is missing. So I remember this. I remember encountering her here. I was hoping I'd find you here, swordsman. There can never be payment enough to equal the heroic deed you've done on our behalf. But I wish for you to take this armor, and I pray it serves you well in the battles ahead. Or maybe you... I don't remember. I remember encountering her here. I do not remember encountering her on the other floor. So I, it probably was the same, I just, I don't remember that encounter. A highly regarded knight sunk it to the bottom of the springs once upon a time in an effort to hide it away. But I wanted to give you something special, so I scoured the water's basin for it and brought it here. I'm so grateful to have caught you as you, I did, too, but there are no more springs on the floors beyond this. Which means this is goodbye. I will not see you again, most likely, but I will never forget you. the armor I think it is I can show something off. It is not the armor I'm thinking of. It kind of looked like it, considering the sword I found. Still. An armor upgrade. Wow, that is a significant upgrade. Hmm. Spike. Spike room. Okay. And took the wrong path. Okay, the obelisk. I'm pretty sure I have to fall down there. Because there's no paths. And it's once again, like the 50th time, not the map button. Yeah, in order to get in here, I'm pretty sure I have to fall. Because there's no platforms to jump on. Hmm. What about the previous floor? I know there's going to be stairs up. Or, uh, not up, down to it. So those are the stairs up. Mm, nope, nope. We are, we are going back here, and we are saving. Those are Medusas. Or Gorgons, or whatever they're going to call them. They are... <laughs> I remember this... I remember this room. They are imminently lethal. I think I can freeze them? I also think I have... These are also spinners. But as I was saying, I'm pretty sure I have to actually kill them. Also, spinners. Cash money.
Do not risk it. Just, just keep freezing her. They do exactly what you think they do, and it will get you killed. Lightning ring. I could go test that on the, uh... This would actually be a place to use the bread. I could make retry points without having to go through the save menu, but otherwise I don't think the red is actually useful. Actual magic potions, although I think I have a... Well, I had a stack. Wait. I saw that on the map. Nice try, game. Okay, that is a that is a good chunk of uh, sledgehammer there. Okay, and another false wall. What were the magic point potions? Yeah, what were the magic potions in a chest? But the health potions were on the floor. The way people treat their belongings. You be freezer. If I had not frozen her, she would have definitely killed me. They do a lot of damage, too. Ah, uh, now I gotta map this mess. Some of these spinners are trying. Are they really spinners that they aren't actually doing spinning? They just hum at you and you look away. Huh, actually not too bad. They definitely toned down the enemies here. There's no other explanation. This version of the game has a lot fewer enemies. Oh, I, com I completely missed a path. <laughs> but I gotta go back up this way anyways. Brave, gallant warrior. Yes, you, on the other side of the door. I am trapped in this room and in dire need of rescue. The key is being held by one of the Medusas on this very floor. Please, you must help me. So I couldn't have gotten that ahead of time. Oh, map. There. Maybe it didn't spawn them all until I talked to her? Question is, should I save her? The answer is no, but I'm going to. I was not paying attention to the time. I am well over time. I'm going to forget what I was doing if I don't do the Medusa. So I need to look for the Medusa.
and spinners are fun. I have not seen any other Medusas, so unless I just completely missed one. I think they can actually enter these as well. So that's also fun. So unless I completely missed one. Uh, up, up. Ah, oh, thank God. Ah, oh, okay. So... We are done with the Medusas, and that was not nearly as bad as I remember them being. They definitely toned this down. So I'm going to get back out of this spinner maze, and then I'm going to call this... Mm. Just to remind myself for next time, I'm going to go to the end of this hall. Which will probably still not <laughs> actually remind me. Okay, so I'm go I've gone well over. I'm going to stop here. I'm wondering if I just missed that Medusa or if it didn't spawn until I talked to her. I'm pretty sure I just missed it. There's, I think there's supposed to be like a dozen of them in there. Yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more, and thanks for watching!